This video is gonna blow your mind. It's Sunday. It's our day to DIY together, to be creative together, to customize our wardrobe together. I'm so happy you are here. And we're gonna make a no sew infinity wrap dress. And when I say no sew, I mean like scissors only dress. The DIY itself takes like 60 seconds, but you end up with something that is so versatile. Depending on the fabric you choose, you could literally have a like gauzy fun beach cover up all the way to like a guest of a fancy wedding dress. This is gonna blow your mind. And I'm so excited to share it. If this is your first video, I'm thrilled that you found me today. This is the DIY designer and my name is Orly. I'm really all about giving you accessible, doable, high impact DIYs so that you can customize your own wardrobe to express who you are, to make sure that it always makes you feel great and that you can afford all of these pieces. So that's really what I'm all about. And today's video is kind of a, a perfect example of that. So welcome, I'm glad that you're here. Um, I can't wait to share today's like zhuzhi sexy sponsor. This is a cower. They are sponsoring today's video and man, am I thrilled to share it with you. It is an entire collection of like comfy, cozy, slinky, sexy, cool loungewear and PJs that are all under 40 bucks. It's insanity. This set right here was my favorite. I wanted it in all the colors, but I thought pink would be like a fun Mother's Day situation. So that's what I bought it in. It's machine washable. It's really lightweight. It's so breathable. I really recommend the like silky ones because it feels comfy cozy on the inside, but it looks like polished and sexy on the outside, which totally changes the way that you carry yourself, your mood. Like when I wear this around the house, I feel very different than when I'm wearing like schlubba sweats, you know? I wore this today when I dropped my kids off for school and I just threw on moto boots and a leather jacket and I was like wait is this like a cute outfit the outside sort of that like um fleecy material but the inside just feels like cotton I also got this black and gray one that's like really lightweight almost t-shirt material I just love that you can wear it like high-waisted low-waisted everything has pockets everything has pockets it's just so so good so I really recommend giving it a shot um they have both an Amazon store and their full website. I'd say the full website probably has a larger uh, option for products and colors and all different things because that's their main website, but they do also sell on Amazon. I will put both links down below plus a coupon code so you guys can try it out. Highly recommended, loving every piece that I got. Okay, let's get into this DIY because in 60 seconds, you're gonna, you're gonna know how to make it. First up, let's give credit where credit is due. So someone actually sent me this Instagram page of this woman wearing a dress like a million different ways. Turns out she only sells in Brazil, so it's not available here. So I figured we'd DIY it. I have no idea if the way that I make it is exactly the way that she does, but it seems like the general idea. I tested a bunch of different styles and this is what I came up with. Okay, I'm gonna explain this on a piece of paper to start because I think it'll actually be easier. So let's say this is our fabric. Right here, top, and bottom, this is our selvage edge, right? So this is the edge of the goods. This length here is our yardage that we bought. So imagine this is one yard, two yards. If you bought more, it would just get longer and longer this way. Now you have two ways that you can fold it when you cut. One way is to fold it like this, which will make the dress more narrow, but longer. The other way is to fold it like this, which will make the straps longer, but the dress a little shorter. Now this is how you're gonna decide what's right for you. Let's imagine these goods are 60 inches wide. If I'm folding it this way, that means that the length is gonna be 60 inches, right? If that's long enough for you, then this is a great way to fold it. If let's say we fold it this way, I can get more length, but I have to make sure that this is wide enough. I'm gonna show you, for example, how we cut it. You're gonna take your fabric and you're gonna fold it in half. In this example, I'm doing selvage edge on top, okay? We're gonna fold it in half. There's two cuts and that's all there is. Five inches down from the top, so this is five inches, right, down, you are gonna do one slice on the fold, okay? This slice was around seven and a half inches. So when it opened, it ended up being about 15 inches long. The other measurement is eight inches down, eight inches down, and for me was approximately 14 inches long, okay? Now this is on the cut side, so when you open it, you end up with one here and one here, 14 inches. This is essentially the pattern. One slice, five inches down from the top, 
on the fold so that it's even, one slice eight inches down from the top on the fold so that it cuts two. This distance here should be your circumference, right? So your full body circumference plus about five inches. So for me, this was around a 30 inch. If folding it like this, in order to give you enough, only gives you a tiny little tail, this isn't gonna work for you. You're gonna need to fold it this way. And the more length that you buy, let's say you bought three yards, the straps, the tying is even longer. Let's put this to you so you can actually see it. Now, when it comes to your fabric, you want four-way stretch. You want something that's opaque, so it's not see-through, but thin enough that when you tie it in a knot, it's not gonna be bulky. And I also recommend getting something that is double-sided, meaning that it's the same color or print on both sides. It gives you more flexibility when you're draping. Now, I decided to take this one piece of fabric and cut it so that I could have a midi length on the top and a little mini on the right. This right here though, this is the cut that you're gonna do for everything. You fold your fabric in half and right now I'm doing the straps. So I'm eight inches down, slicing in 14 inches long. I flip and I go to the other side where the fold is, I go five inches down and I do a little seven and a half. Now that one is done. I'm gonna show you a couple versions of the same. Here, I'm cutting off the selvage edge. If you have an edge that looks cool, you can keep it. If not, you wanna trim it. If you have a striped fabric, you wanna clean up all the edges so everything looks nice and neat. Now on this one, this was actually the first one I did and I made the slices a little too small. When I tried it on, I realized that they weren't long enough, so you can always go back in and extend them. Safer to go a little shorter because you can always make it longer. You cannot go back and make them shorter. Now here's the version where I folded it the other way. So here you can see it's super long and skinny. However, if I fold it the other way, I end up with a lot more width so that the straps on my body can be even longer. Here you can see how much longer it is. It gives me about six or seven inches on either side, right? If I wanted it even longer, I would have just bought more. That's all. Okay. I'm gonna do this in the mirror because I need to see what I'm doing, but you also need to see what I'm doing. You also kind of need to see the back. So this way, I think we've got everything uh, that we need. So here it is, right? It's just the one slit in the middle and the two slits on the side. For the first one, let's put our arms through that slit, just like that. This will let you wear like a bra with it or whatever. I'm doing this dress so that I can do this in front of you, just ignore all the straps. Now with these ties, there's a million things we can do. The first one that is the one that I like the most is crisscross them one more time, pull tight, and then tie. So you're gonna take it. Look at how pretty that sort of detail is right there. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna like tie it. So same idea, but different. And then we're gonna go this way so it lays flat. And this creates um, the same pretty knot, but a deeper V in the front. Perfect for like a beach wedding or, you know, imagine this in like a floral. So, so pretty. Now you can also not do any kind of a twist, but just overlap it. I'm gonna do it a little bit looser. We want like the bust to look natural, right? So this should go under here and this should go under here. So kind of just gonna pull it so that it creates a pretty drape, voila. You could pull it under here and sort of secure it with the belt so that you've got that full coverage. A lot of ways that you can finagle these and those little crystal buttons from the alterations video could really come in handy here. Okay, I'm gonna leave these two center front and take these. If I was wearing it to like a wedding and not as a beach, I would put like a little pin or something to keep it more secure. And now tighten it. So pretty. Again, like look at that shape. I mean, listen, if you have curves, which I do not, this would be bananas with your curves. Like even better, even more shape, even more flattering, really pretty in the back. Oh my God tie like a tiny knot at the top, like the smallest knot that I can do. Now, that shortens it so that it's covered. And now you can do like crisscross. Pretend this is not here. Imagine it's a one shoulder situation. You could do the same thing here where you like twist that detail on the side right there. So from the front the same, but from the side that little detail. While it's tied, I'm gonna do it as a halter. So throw it over your neck. It creates this super pretty drape in the front. And now we're gonna let the two tails hang. We're not gonna use them. I'm gonna take the sides here. You kinda gotta switch your arms a little. You can tie it like this. 
It's like the classic sarong style. So the little thing is just back there. We just don't need it. You can do just a simple tie and a knot. This is very, very, you know, beachy vacation classic. You could put a belt. Again, look how pretty that is. You can tuck part of this underneath where it's tight so that it stays and you have full coverage. You could pin it or if it's a beach cover up, just kind of like let it open with your bathing suit is super cute. This can also be a skirt. You could take it just like this. This is great for midi length because it will become maxi and you're just gonna tie it. I would just do a knot, just a straight knot in the front. I mean, how pretty is that? I was able to make a mini and a midi out of this so it would even be fun to like see all the ways that I could wear them together, like almost a top and a skirt. vest situation an endless set of possibilities here so cool you can also fold it and get rid of that top part making it a little bit shorter and you could just use these two to tie you know just makes it a little bit shorter similar kind of style with all the really flattering ruching and like the V in the front but by folding it like that you just make it a little bit shorter I want to show you another version now I'm gonna just put it through one arm like this okay the same parts here, the majority of the back is here. Now, I'm gonna take this piece, which is in the front, I'm gonna put it through the hole. Because that way, I can now, I have some leverage. So now, I don't want this cutting across my boob, so now you kind of adjust. So this should go up, and that should go down. Imagine this in like a stretch sequin. That is so stinking cute. This is the one that I cut going the other direction so that the straps would be longer. So here, let's say you were to just do a tie. I've got enough actually to almost come back around. So cutting it that way is definitely a great option if you need a little bit more uh, space around your body. So the way that that will work is the width of the goods will be as long as it is. But again, remember, you're actually starting like almost from here because when you cut this piece, that whole thing lowers. So if let's say your goods are 60 inches, that will be your length. Let's say you want three yards, it would be even longer. You should really be able to customize it, you know, to your own body. I actually like the idea of it kind of like loose. It feels cool, you know? I don't feel like I'm trying so hard. Okay. Oh, that is way cool. It feels so good on. Now we'll take these. We're gonna tie, take these, this would be overlapped, and a belt. So like, this is the new tassel belt. It's just like a rope belt that, you know, like a classic nautical rope belt, but it's in the rhinestone. That's kind of cool. Any belt, right? Like any belt you want. But look at how pretty that is with this rainbow fabric. And kind of wrap it like this. You know, make sure it's not going over the boob. That's kind of weird. So under and it's just a little bit sleeker. You've got full coverage on the sides. You know, this is now just fabric that, you know, you could just wrap and put like a pin and just wear it as a, a simple skirt like that. There's a million ways and you know it, just take a day and just play in the mirror. I'd recommend just getting a couple different fabrics. Four way stretch is obviously gonna be the best because it's gonna let you flip it upside down and a fabric that is the same on both sides is ideal. Something that when it flips or turns, you're not seeing like white on the back of a printed fabric. That's really what's gonna give you the most flexibility. But I hope that you guys do this one. It is so fun. Like share with all the women in your family. I feel like this would be such a fun making matching ones for an event or for a vacation where you all do different tie dye fabrics and all tie them like so cool bridesmaid dresses. I mean, there's so many ideas. So I hope you guys have fun with this one. Enjoy and check out Ecower if you guys need some really good like slouchy, sexy, polished, but comfy PJ or loungewear sets. Highly recommend in love with every piece that I got. So I'm really happy I got to share it with you. Okay, I'll see you next week. Have a great week, you guys. I love you.